Boys are back. Boys are back in town. You on the mic like you're a rapper. Just give me some balls. Get your please. man, dog. <laughs> get your man. I was just trying to get it adjusted here. Yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Weezy, let the people know about the question this week, be dog. Question of the week, man. Some scandals going on. Okay. Why are you looking at my paper? I for? can't read that shit. It's <laughs> but, scratch. but why do you look at it? And just, try, just I was just seeing what try, was going on. Trying to make sure I had something down. No, nah, I believe you got something every week. I believe in you. Okay. I believe. I believe in you. It's not a pause, cameraman. But that don't no, joke. He, he, that's a bad yeah, pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's a bad pause. <laughs> I got something right here. So we talking about scandals this week, right? We are scandals. All right. I didn't know that, but yeah, we are. <laughs> Michigan, Michigan. Uh, Mm-hmm. University, yeah. they got some shit going on over there. More they to come, it. yeah, yeah, more to come. So we're gonna talk about what what was the worst scandal mm-hmm. in sports. So we got Deflate Gate, mm-hmm. Deflate Gate. We got Bounty Gate, Bounty, Bounty Gate. Gate, Bounty Gate, Bounty Gate. That was your defensive coordinator. Yeah, yeah. 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 We got Houston Astros, mm-hmm. still the signs, right? Sign <laughs> <Science laughs> Gate, the, uh, <laughs> Gate, <laughs> Trash Gate. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got the Michigan Rings. What they was, <laughs> what they doing is crazy. Oh, the worst is um the fake gate. Of those, yeah. Of those, yeah. The flag. Really? Gate. Yeah. Yeah, the flag gate. You know how easy it is to throw a football if it's just with less air? The PSI is low? I, I don't know if Bounty Gate's cheating or not. You can't throw an hour out, though, so I understand. You crazy hell. I don't know if Bounty Gate's cheating or not. I said throw. You can run one. I don't know if Bounty Gate's cheating or not. <laughs> but, <Get it. laughs> but here we go. Steps back. So if somebody put a price on your head on the football field. It's rough. It's rough. <laughs> Rough. Ain't that real? Okay. People hate every day, dog. Oh, shit. This ain't yeah, he ain't talking. Talking. Yeah. 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 Huh? Yeah. The Belichick cheating more. He's talking about Spygate. Stealing gate. Spygate. 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 Yeah, Spygate. Yeah. Spygate. Yeah. Spygate. The Belichick Spygate. done that twice. Bounding gate. Yeah. I mean, uh, the Spygate, Spygate and the Spygate. And Spygate. Gate. Spygate. So he a cheater. Okay. Yeah, he a real cheater. Shout out to Brady. Shout out to Cheaters. Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Let's hold off for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Early with it. <laughs> guys ready? Let's do it. Let's man. get it. Sport press. Yeah. No layup line, no warm ups, no nothing. We just walking right into the stadium, get into the game. Let's do it. When the beat on, then it's on. When our white jerseys on the road. Cause how we feel where we roam is our home. Leaving these other podcasts null and void. The show can't miss some. back and some of you for the first time to the full sport press podcast the premier sports podcast for the consummate sports fan and this is your one-stop shop for all sports related news and topics i'm jay hope it's your boy big jeff it's your boy Weez. what do you do coach lock is out in the time shot the coach and the tissue tigers yes sir two and oh two and oh tigers go tigers go tigers go tigers <laughs> Cameron, man, how you doing brother okay right. yeah you got a first down then d yeah <laughs> Jeez Louise. <laughs> he got a first down. <laughs> did he just do the cowboy thing? Like, uh, yeah. Yeah. CD Lamb. CD Lamb? Yeah, that's what he did. Mm-hmm. He got a first down. Yeah. Wow. He got a first down. Mm-hmm. Episode 492, guys. We're handing out awards for the midway point of the 2023 NFL season. FSP style. Always FSP style. You better damn know it. Better damn believe it. Jeff, best of the week. Talk to the people. Oh, man. My best of the week. When we, By the time you hear this, next week we will have the matchup that we're going to be seeing for the next 10 years. The next, the next bird versus magic, the next AI versus Kobe, Chet versus Tricky Vicky. This Vicky went Vicky. Yeah, Tricky Vicky. Tricky Vicky. Tricky Vicky ain't a good one, Joe. You gotta find something else. <laughs> Got nothing for you. Tricky Vicky next week versus <laughs> Chet. Can't <laughs> wait. And it's big beef. They don't like each other. They, they don't. Like no, it. they don't like each other. Real life. Beef, yeah. yeah, sir. Yeah. Yeah. We need beef. more of that in the NBA. Yeah, need more of that. I like it. I know you. Hey, do. your boys. Like you care about his points and beef. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. Yeah, Boy, Zion hooping right now. Yeah. Shh, stay low. He, he, he already missed low. the game. Just got to stay well, back to back. back. No, 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 no. That's because Babe was born. Babe was born. He missed the missed game. Shout out to that. I'm missing. Oh, you counting that, Joe? You rough, man. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Yeah, he lost also out. Counted, he counted turnovers with a, with a man. They, they the, lost the game. I was thinking because of the back to back, but you just got his back. Babe was born. You must for that. Weezy, give me your best of the week. Goodness gracious, a lot. Best of the week for me was. uh. Uh, I had a fellowship. Uh, I had a fellowship. I had a get, get together the weekend. Yeah, Fellas came over. Yeah, you. I ain't got. A you had bit. some good wings, dog. 
Yeah. We was going crazy. Appreciate the hospitality, dog. No problem. Anytime yeah. I can. Yeah. Rotel, on point. Rotel, on point. Shout out to you. Drinks, on point. Drinks, on point. Yeah, for sure. Good hospitality job, was great. Yeah. We had a good time. Good time. Yeah. yeah. Hashtag more to come, Weezy. More to come. More to come. That's right. You. Thank you. Yeah. Best of the week for me, man, is uh, Jeezy. Um, <laughs> see my guys going out sad with the baddies, man. First it was Jalen Brown talking. He said he's going to get five championships in seven years. He got a year to get five championships. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you got John Morant. So he didn't want no smoke with anybody. He didn't care about nobody in the West. Yeah. And he ain't even playing in the West. Have they won a game yet this year? No, he's not. They won. I think they won. Yeah, they won one they game. Won. They, won they won one. one. Mm-hmm. They won this week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was getting rough though. Yeah. And then we got Jesus folding, yeah. man, like a dinner napkin, man, with Neil Long. He folded. He folded. If here's the thing though, yeah, I know this. I know this. You said that's your best of the week that he folded. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, my yeah. best of the week that he folded. Because uh, people succumb to the pressures of a beautiful woman. Running. 46 years snow, old. Yeah, what, what, snow, you say? what you got? We all saw that birthday Neil Long video. Exactly. <laughs> That's why it was my best. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along to the worst of the week, Jeff. Talk to the people. Uh, my worst of the week. Hey, man, look. It's kind of my best of the week, but it's my worst of the week. Check on your friends when it comes to technology. Mm. I'm not going to say his name because he yeah. listens to the show. Yeah, shout out to my guy. Yeah, nah, nah, I tell y'all, care. I ain't going to do it like that. Had a good, good, good friend of mine, long time friend yeah, of mine. My uh, boy was trying to get, get, try to get some shoes for his wife. Mm. Um, didn't know how to work the sneakers app. Yes, it get a little tricky. Yeah, it it little get tricky. a little tricky. I had, had to show him how to work the sneakers app, Jay. Yeah. I also had to show him how to join a raffle on the Hibbit app. Mm. That didn't work out for him. Sent them videos. You know, had to, had to put input his payment information. Hey, the guys got to keep up with technology. Yeah, it was kick, technology included. was kicking his we ass. We don't know how to get nothing off no sneaks. <laughs> I was just asking a question. <laughs> I don't say my guy. Yeah, know, okay, we, they can't hear you. So yeah. shout out to my guy. Yeah, okay. Technology was kicking his ass. <laughs> technology Dash is best. good though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good. Yeah, it right. wasn't working for <laughs> you. Can't. What if you can't pay? And somebody can't. I'll take care of it. Okay. Let's talk talk to you. Oh, worst of the week, we just talk to the people. Worst of the week, man. LSU women got a little tough love this week. They got a little tough love this week. Uh, see, is that, that that season's over with, ladies? Mm-hmm. Let's give it. This is a new mm-hmm. season. Yeah, we gotta play ball. Yeah, they do. Yeah, if you gonna talk that shit like me, you gotta play ball. <laughs> yeah. I don't think yeah. I do. I talk shit, but I play ball. I don't know if you play ball. You, I play you, ball. Yeah, you play real. Been doing been doing ball. it all my whole life. Yeah, you yeah, really, really really And that it. never happens. But still, yeah, yeah, talk yeah, shit and play ball. Yeah, if you gonna talk that shit, you gotta play ball. Um, my worst week is two things. I'm gonna wait to Coach Lock get back to talk about my worst week. He didn't answer the phone call on Gas Money House Money last week. I ain't like my dog. <laughs> but, but yeah, he was asleep. All right, cool. But my worst of the week, for real, is the fact that, you know, I'm leading all statistical categories <laughs> in regards to, uh, you know, everything related to the FSPs. Um, wrestling matchups. Rest you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we don't talk about that. Yeah, who gets the W? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to 808. <laughs> oh, my God. Boy, I'm one, Jay. No, I'm a, listen. Hey, if you about how many, how many you win by? You won. Okay, it's, it's, it's Come on, win. man. Win is a win. Come on, man. I, you can't say that. And I went undefeated last time. But just the week before that, I was winning. No, you weren't. Yes, I was. No, you weren't, bro. Pull no, the stats, uh, Jeff. Can, nah, can the, you do that for us? No, nah, the, the, the stats? stats is there. All but I'm you, saying yeah, you is. you winning right now. All I'm saying is I'm winning. You said every statistical category. It's only one stat. Give me my shit. Give me my shit. Come on, here. Why you always trying to make yourself, you know, trying to make yourself. Run it over. Y'all trying to make yourself run it over. Run it over, man. Just run up to the top and drink your glass, man. I did. Make sure you check us out on iTunes, Facebook, Instagram, Google Play, Beyond Pod, YouTube, Amazon Music to catch up on the full archive of past episodes of FSP. Just simply search Full Sport Prints Podcast. J Ho. Yes, sir. And Wheezy. Yes, sir. Do you guys have a yellow box of Cheerios recipient for our listeners? We do. This week's award recipient is one of Jay's boys. Uh oh. Jimmy Clausen. Uh-oh. He was high on Jimmy Clausen, Joe. High on Jimmy Clausen. Ooh, you should have heard him. First it's, 20, right. it's 2011. This I ain't kid. even talked to Weezy about football. Yeah. You, you lying. You <laughs> lying. In 2011. Lying. This kid yeah. right here, he's going to be the first pick. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, that dog. He's he getting J Ho verbiage <laughs> and everything. I'm telling, I'm telling you, dude. He's kid. doing the J Ho and everything. <laughs> chill out. Chill out. Yeah. Yeah. This kid right here. Yeah. This kid right here. I'm telling you, dude. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's, a, it's a kid from California. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the one. When I'm right, they love it. When I'm wrong, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's all good. Uh, former Auburn football <laughs> quarterback Cam Newton made over $133 million through his NFL career, but he still made an important financial decision to make as a rookie for the Carolina Panthers in 2011. The 2010 Heisman Trophy winner claimed second-year Panthers signal caller. And I guess my guy, Jimmy Clausen, wanted $1 million to give up his number two jersey, which Newton basically won throughout his entire football career, including his lone season at Auburn. After Newton refused to pay up the ante, Clausen dropped the price to seven hundred and fifty thousand, shocking Newton on the seriousness of his request. He said, and I quote, I made it an oath to myself that will be the last time anybody will ever say anything good about Jimmy Clausen in Carolina, end quote. Went on to make history win the MVP and Jimmy Clausen was out of the league by twenty fifteen. So shout out to Cam. Jimmy Clausen, I know what you was trying to do. See mm-hmm. a young kid, take advantage of him. You talk to your people. That number two jersey, don't even people didn't even remember that Jimmy Clausen wore two. Like that's how insignificant his time in the NFL was. Mm-hmm. And Cam should have worn two his entire career. That sucks, but mm-hmm. I guess you know try to take advantage of a young kid. Um, and I don't really like that. Jimmy Clausen was not my guy. Never was, but it's funny. We it's can funny. laugh. But to to you know seven fifty though. That's a lot of money, but that's what that's what they do. They no, read. they buy a Rolex for somebody. No, I've heard people buy it. not a million dollars. I'm sure million. I'm sure million dollars. nobody's <laughs> has ever paid a million dollars for a number. I guarantee it. But what do they pay? Thirty thousand. Yeah, twenty five. Twenty five hundred, maybe go with some charities. Yeah, something. some. Yeah, it it ain't never a million. million. Oh. Like what? That two ain't even platinum like that. And he was serious, yeah, too. Yeah, he was dead serious. <laughs> and he went down to 750 like he was looking out. All right, you're going to do a 750. 750? <laughs> hell out of here, man. So take that over to your boy, Jimmy, man. Because I really think you projecting that Jimmy was your guy. But nah. But we're wrong. Jimmy never been my guy. I mean, Jimmy got – that Jimmy ain't got so. Nah, no, Jimmy ain't got, got so. He ain't got no Jimmy, soul. Now he, Jimmy Garoppolo was my guy. Jimmy G's your guy. Yeah, yeah. I got a jersey. Jimmy G was your guy. Trey yeah. Lance, my guy. I got Trey a jersey. Lance. Shout out to Trey. Trey on Harris, your guy. Trey I Harris is not my guy. Oh. No, it's not. Thank you, no, thank but, you. No, it might be, but Mike's not on this show. Mike's not on this show. Treon Harris ain't never. You been with the what, what was it? What, what was the range, uh, Jeff? I believe you started that. Trion. You ran with that. He was my quarterback. What do you want me to do? Just like you roll with Ryan Tanner. Don't play me in that. Don't talk me. We ain't talking about hey, me. Nah, that's what I'm saying. So you got to roll with your guy. I was rolling with my guy. But you believe? I knew he was a turd. You made us go. You made us go to them spring game. To watch he was playing at TSU. I thought he was gonna put on the show. He played in the SEC. It was cold. Yeah, man. You guys ready to get started? The first half. Let's get it. Let's get it. Got merch on. What's up? Full Sport Press Podcast dot com. Get your merch. Get your hats. Get your hoodies. Get your t shirts. Get your long sleeve tees. We got you covered, man. We got you covered. More stuff on the way. I always tell a friend. Tell a friend <laughs> to tell a friend that we are out. First half, the hottest sports news of the past week, like we do each and every week here at the Full Sport Press Podcast. Before we get started, I am Jay Hope. It's your boy Big Jeff. It's your boy Weez. Big Jeff, where can they find your social media? My brother. <laughs> I'm Jay Easley 84 across all social media platforms. Jay, tell the people where they can find you, my dude. I kick your ass every week. Dude. That's <laughs> funny, too. You need to put that on the grid. Right? Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't ne- it'll never happen. Why? Huh? Why? Because I can read it. I can read it. No, you, know, you don't need that. That's ridiculous. Okay. Nah, you know. Where can they find you on social media, Jay? So, I'm Jay Hove on Instagram man, Twitter. Let's talk on Twitter. Let's do it. Yes, you know sir. Know. Coach Lock in here, but ain't nothing changed for Coach Lock. Yep. Lock uh, underscore the underscore great. That's T H A. Get at him. Here we go. Yeah. I'm FSP underscore Weeks on IG. I'm at Howie's on Twitter. Holla at me. So, yeah. What's your uh, record been looking like What's on your on? college football pick? I've been doing pretty good in college pretty football. Solid, yeah. NFL's been Five killing nine. me. Yeah. yeah. NFL's been good. killing me. Yeah. As we can see. <laughs> yeah. <enough>. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> it is week 10, J-Ho, uh-huh. of the FSP Fantasy Football League. Let's get it going. The number one ranked 8 and 1. See him. See you later. Shout out to Chaz <laughs> versus the number seven ranked. I know he's listening. One time for Parham. Show me them TDs. Chaz is projected to win them by a 30 ball, guys. A 30 ball. 
<laughs> There's a reason why he's 81. That's it right there. Shout out to number two ranked Saquon in them at 72. One time for Coach Wayman. Uh, going against Return of the Mac. One time for Regan. Regan is a sixth ranked team. He's projected to win that one by three points. One time, look at Regan. Right. In the matchup of the week, the number three ranked 72, Hair Jordan, one time for Animal Brown, versus the number four ranked uh, Royale with the Cheese, one time for Twin, is six and three. That is projected to be a 14 point spread in favor of Animal Brown. They'll watch God, fresh off the defensive winning on Monday night. <laughs> one time for Watch, I know you're listening, uh, versus Bishop. Sick of my team, Cam at three and six, the number eight ranked uh, Cam and number five ranked watch, uh, Now Watch God. Now Watch God projected to win them about 13.
super excited. They were beating the hell out of the team that they played. TCU. 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 And, I, and we said, only thing worries about that team right there, my major worry about that team is the trenches. They'll be fine everywhere else. Mm-hmm. And year to year, you know, you go through these schools that win championships and they produce players out of the trenches. And I just don't think, you know, this Colorado team is built right now to compete, man. They just, they can't compete right now, and I don't think it's something that can be fixed in a year. No, so kind of to speak on what Weezy said about what's, what, what's wrong with the team. Um, Yeah, offensive line is a problem. Play calling is a problem, too, because if offensive line is a problem, you don't need to throw the ball 40, 50 times a game. That's number one. Mm-hmm. Um, Or you need to throw short, short in front of you passes. The deep routes, the the, the, the double routes, and the, stuff like that. Mm-mm, mm-mm. You don't have the time to do that. You don't have time mm-hmm. to play to develop. Your quarterback's getting killed. Yep. Needs to be quick, quick one read, drop step, boom, boom, two options, let it go as quick as possible. Yep. Right now, now, now I don't know if switching offensive coordinators uh, in mid season is going to fix that, but that's to me that's the main problem. Again, we all saying the same thing: it's the trenches. That build you can bring in three, four, five stars at each position. Offensive line is built on trust and camaraderie. Yep. Because you got to know that your your the guy to your if you're playing left tackle, you got to know that the guy to your right has got your right side covered. Yep. You got to know that the center knows where those backers are. You got to know that your gap your gap uh, concentration is covered. Like you got to know those things, right? Because mm-hmm. you start trying to do too much, and that's where it comes from. So, I understand that's going to be his focus. And here's another thing, just kind of piggyback on what you said, Jay. Transfer portal is cool, great. Go get the kids that you you know what they've done somewhere else and they want to come play somewhere else to get some more clock. Dig that. Two things. There's a reason why those kids are leaving. Most time, I understand you might get a guy that just did the numbers game, didn't work out for him, but there's something that other teams saw that they're, they're letting them go, right? They're not mm-hmm. fighting to keep them there. And also, don't switch up on these high school kids because you bring them in and show them loyalty, they're going to be there for you three years mm-hmm. instead of bringing this guy for one year. And in a rental, you got a guy that's going to be there two to three years. Well, three years got to be. Um, and build the actual program, right? Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, and great lines are built through recruiting classes. You stack recruiting classes. If you look at that Florida State team and how they were built, it was a recruiting class, then a recruiting class, and then you add in a sprinkle of a wide receiver one a cornerback, a quarterback, just to kind of fill in go uh, holes that you missed out on. What you got with you? But I tell you this, we I mean everybody down on them now. I tell you this though, that team is a that team is a whole lot better than it was last year. hundred percent, hundred percent. That's what yeah, uh, got to end with that. Yeah. It's, it's a whole lot better than it was last yeah. year, and I truly believe that's a one win team last year. Yeah, one I truly, win. I truly believe that like the transfer to portal that they did do. On the outsides and at the at, on the outside, it's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they had to make that move. Yeah. And if you give them a half, if you give them Vanderbilt's offensive line, they win three more games. They do. No, I think they win. They three win three more, more games. games. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. Yeah. So it's going. just three or four people yeah. that he's missing. Not necessarily. It's more than that. But it's some people, and their recruiting class is ranked 24th in the country. I think that's what I'm saying. So no, 66 in the country. That's what, I'm what coming in this year? Coming in this year. Yeah. But he got, but he, he got, got two five star on the offensive line. No, he has one. The, the one from IMG. One offensive lineman. He's a three star. The one from I, with I, the one. The one. It might be 2025, but 2024 is. It class, might be 2025. Yeah, There's yeah. 66 in the country. You got to get out there and get in these. Got I understand yeah. you recruiting the transfer. You got to got to get in these front rooms yeah. with these moms and these dads. You got to. Yeah. All right. Before we get started with halftime, let's talk some NFL. The New York Football yeah. Giants quarterback Daniel Jones became the latest NFL player to suffer a leg injury this season from Aaron Rodgers, Nick Chubb, Kirk Cousins, and Trey White, just to name a few. The number has ballooned to 20 players by week 10 of the NFL season. Sheesh. And the league debate on the safety of artificial turf is a real conversation. $305 million. That's how much the players out for the season due to ACL or Achilles tears and other leg injuries will make this year combined. We'll kick things off with Wheezy. Does NFL need to get rid of artificial turf? I don't think so. I, I don't think so. Um, we we have we we put a spotlight on these couple injuries right here, but throughout the all throughout, I mean, if you go through the whole league, it's not that many injuries. It's not that many injuries. You're just saying if you do the aggregate of the numbers, of yeah. The players. And name those players again. Who's hurt? Who's yeah. off the injury? The name uh, of? Just to name a few: Davies White, yeah, Aaron Rodgers. Kirk Cousins, 
and uh, Nick Chubb. Daniel Jones, yeah. yeah. Daniel Jones, too. Yeah. Now, Nick Chubb and Tredavious White were hit. No. no non-contact. They, no, no. Nick no, Chubb I'm talking was about, hit. I'm talking about Tredavious White's non-contact. Okay, Tredavious White. But Nick Chubb was hit. Yeah, I mean, he somebody took his, it, yeah. yeah I somebody. mean, but it was the planting of artificial turf. Like, you plant your leg, he couldn't move. The foot gets stuck in the turf, not like grass. Grass gives. It's more of like sticking your foot in, like, artificial grass. It don't have enough bounce to it. I mean, I, I got to see them some more science on that. You got to. All right. So, I, the, the reason, you know, one of the reasons – the artificial turf is easier to manage. It's 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 you know you can travel to foreign lands to play football games and roll out artificial <laughs> turf when you get there. Mm-hmm. Um, hell, even metro schools in Nashville, all the metro schools are getting artificial turf now. Yeah. Whoop de doo. Um, most football players will tell you they prefer the grass. One hundred percent. Just because of the, the the give the the just the overall aspect of playing on grass to turf, and then you seeing these injuries. I understand we're putting a spotlight on them now, but we're putting that spotlight on them because you lose someone like Aaron Rodgers first play of the game to a non-contact injury, and you can say, "Oh, it would happen anywhere." Ah, we don't know that. We know where it happened at though, and that's where this comes into play. Now, to answer your original question, J. Ho, do I believe that the NFL should get rid of this? Absolutely. Will they? I don't know. They won't do that. Why would they? It's too much. It's too cost efficient to do it this way. Yeah. And so, if you look at the NFL overseas games, they roll out turf to play those games. Yeah. And if you look at Tottenham Hotspurs, where they play most of their games at, and that Premier League, they play on grass. All major, not college, all major soccer leagues play on grass. So, in turn, why did they roll out turf just for the football game for the NFL? Why didn't they let them play on grass like they let the soccer guys play on? Uh, There's no question about that. I mean, I just don't understand that. But anyway, going into the specifics, there are 15 stadiums serving 17 teams, two teams share. Um, In the NFL, they use grass for their fields, and there's 15 that use turf. Recently, the Tennessee Titans came out and said that they're switching to a hybrid turf just because it was simply um, impossible to keep up. Now, granted, they have two teams playing on said grass, so in turn, it's probably easier to manage two teams on turf. But grasses, and like we mentioned, they're just a little softer on the body, more give. Even with concussions, you're hitting your head basically on concrete, guys, yeah. when you are when you have a helmet on. So I think this is the easiest decision that the NFL can make. But will they do it? No, because they roll out grass with a button, a push of a button, grass is rolled out turf. for it. I mean, for turf, yeah. They roll out turf with the push of a button. That's It's so much easier. Yeah, And I've I seen a stat. That in our NFL, that they we, we all know they make a you know a couple billion dollars a year. Yeah, you know it's it, 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 it will, huh? It will only cost them eleven million dollars to get everybody grass fields and just to, to to treat that. It's the upkeep though. It's the upkeep though. Yeah, but it that's is. it. It's, it's yeah. a, a, a extra eleven million dollars a year. Right, it's the it, upkeep on on the grass. Then you you factor that in over ten years, a hundred million dollars. Yeah, but they make that they make a billion a year. But yeah, you don't get that billion. Spend an extra living when you don't have to. Exactly. And on top of that. I'm not saying you're wrong, though. You're, wrong, you're not wrong. I'm not saying you're wrong. That's just how they're looking at it, though. Bottom line, different, dog. Bottom line is different. Because if you take away $11 million, that means you might have to, t- you know, get rid of something else over here that's yeah, but you get equally that, important. You get that back if Nick Chubb's playing and, you know, I can watch Nick Chubb versus Saquon this week. Come on. with you, big dog. Yeah. Hey, listen. <laughs> you preaching to the choir. But in turn, we don't think that it'll happen. Yeah. What do you guys think? You know, let us know. You guys ready to get started with halftime? Let's do it. Let's get it. Make sure you check us out on iTunes, Facebook, Instagram, Google Play, Spotify, Beyond Pie, YouTube, Amazon Music, and Amazon Music. Hey, if you got Amazon Prime. <laughs> Hell yes, that too. <laughs> Make sure you do all that, all right? <laughs> and when these ads start showing, ads are free if you got Amazon Prime or Amazon Music. Make sure you pick that out. All right. Look at this one full archive of past episodes of FSP. Just simply search for Sports Prince Podcast. Halftime, we are back with FSP's Heisman list and the NFL Power Rankings. All right. Damn. Cool. Really? Um, each week <laughs> of the college football season, FSP will take a look at the 2024 Heisman Trophy race and break down each contender. Out of contention this week, guys. Yeah. Out of contention. Carson Beck, University of Georgia. Jaden Daniels. And Marvin Harrison. Out yeah. of contention this week. Even though he had a good, he had a good week last yeah, good week, week, too. But 
Yeah, yeah. solid quarterback play. Yeah. yeah. Coming in at number four, yeah. we have yeah. Triple OG senior quarterback, oh, my God. Jordan Travis, <laughs> plus 800. Despite missing his most trusted weapons, Travis still threw for 360 yards mm. and carried the Seminoles to a 9 0 record with clinching a spot in the ACC title game. Up next, finally, a team with a winning record is on the horizon. FSU is at home against rival Miami. Let's do it. FSU is favored by 14 points. Big game. First big game in eight weeks. <laughs> Coming in at number three, we have Weezy's guy, senior Oregon quarterback Bo Nix. He's plus 300 now. Oregon Ducks quarterback Bo Nix returned to our Heisman race after week 10 thanks to an offensive clinic against Cal. Made it look easy in a 63-19 to win, setting season high in passing yards of 386 and rushing touchdowns with two while tying his season high for touchdown passes. The only thing is keeping Knicks out of this top two is the fact that he lost to Michael Penix head-to-head. And he played in a good game, too. He did. He played a good game. He lost. Up next, the number six <laughs> Ducks are at home against USC. Oregon's favored by 14 and a half points. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Coming in at number two, we have junior Michigan quarterback J.J. McCarthy. He's plus 200 now. Saturday was another example why J.J. McCarthy is one of the best quarterbacks in college football, yet – he likely won't win the Heisman Trophy. Against Purdue, Michigan hung 41 points. And McCarthy played a huge role with 355 passing yards. But his running backs, Blake Quorum, Samaj Morgan, and Donovan Edwards, all came away with all five of the touchdowns in the Michigan Wolverine offense. So up next, number three seed, Wolverines on the road at Happy Valley versus Penn State, Ooh, number yeah. 10 seed. Without Michigan is favored by four and a half points. Even if, even if Michigan wins out. They can't give him that highs. They won't. Not no. this year. They won't. And without Harbaugh, Harbaugh suspended for the rest of the season. Is that is that confirmed? Mm. Yeah, Harbaugh suspended. It's rumored. Harbaugh is that suspended confirmed? for the rest of the season. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it is. Coming in, if that was the case, then we, we should have had that in the first topic. They should have uh, no, said it today. Okay. And, and that's where it makes sense. That is no, it's just, just three games. Rest what, of the season. Rest of the season, three yeah. games. Yeah. Coming in at number one, we have senior quarterback. Michael Penix Jr. is plus 150 now. He threw an interception for the fourth consecutive game, now giving him seven on the year. It's a big concern that the Heisman Trophy frontrunner is suddenly having real problems protecting the football. Up next, though, the number five seed Huskies are at home versus 18th ranked Utah. Washington's favored by nine points. And that is your FSB Heisman Trophy race. All right. Let's go. NFL. Out of contention. Nah, I'm joking with you. Here we go. Number seven, big jump. Then one four in a row, Jeff. Who is it? I don't know who you got. Cincinnati Bengals, number yeah, seven. I like it. I like it. They deserve to be there. Yeah. Kicked our ass. <laughs> yeah. <Golly>. Number six. <laughs> number six. They lost, but they still there. Miami Dolphins. It's number six. I would have Cincinnati above Miami. Really? Yeah. At the eight four and eight and three? Yeah, I had Cincinnati above uh, Miami right now. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not mad at you though. Keep Number going. five, just holding steady, just holding ship steady. They got they got a good contest this week. Jacksonville Jaguars at number five. Yeah, they still this this their biggest one, yeah. biggest match. Pause. It's their biggest match right here. Number four, Jay's Jay's uh, secret team this year. Detroit Lions. <laughs> Number four. <laughs> he ain't tell nobody to play Detroit oh Lions. Pull yeah. up for Detroit Lions. I ain't mad at that. Yeah. Number three, the Baltimore Ravens still at number three. Rolling. 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 I wanted to put them at number two bad. Who's number two? Who number two? Can't see the Chiefs at number two. And who number one? I'm one Philly. Philadelphia Eagles. Eagles. Where the hell is San Francisco 49ers at? We, we had a bye week. Row, I lost three games in a row, Jeff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Still got a better record than uh, no uh, than who? Yeah. Uh, the what's the team? The 17. They had the same record. No, I'm saying, but we but play they beat hard y'all. Team. They beat y'all. They beat y'all. Well, we ain't we've been injured. Watch oh, this. They beat y'all. Watch Watch this. This. Now, now, Jacksonville's a big game. You beat Jacksonville, you back on the list. Man, Jacksonville ain't no problem. We're gonna talk about this shit. We're gonna Yeah, I got us. Okay. I'm just saying y'all, man. We we deserve to be in the top seven, guys. We're a top seven team in the league. Are we not a top seven team in the league? Tell it wise, yes, but not not this week. Who, who, who have y'all beat this top seven? We beat Dallas. Dallas is not in top seven. I ain't talking about who is on the list. I'm saying we beat Dallas, beat the hell out of Dallas. And some teams had a real, real struggle with Dallas. <laughs> the number one team. It's a, yeah, that's a division game. But yeah, I get you. Whatever. You guys ready to get started with the second half? Damn. Yeah, ain't nothing else to talk about. Yeah. yeah let's get it.
J Ho. Check us out each and every Monday. The Revolution will be podcasted. Revolution will be podcasted. Second half the NFL midseason award show. I am Jay Ho. It's your boy Big Jeff. It's your boy Weezy. What to do? Cameraman. The season now consists of 18 weeks, guys. That makes let's check some quick math. Nine weeks the halfway point. Shout out to Coach Lot. So with the season halfway mm-hmm. home, why not hand out some awards based on the first 50 percent of the 2023 NFL campaign? Kicking things off with question one was offensive player of the year. Jeff, go through the preseason predictions for this award. All right. Young Weezy had A.J. Brown. Myself, I had Henry. Derrick Henry. Coach Locke has Christian McCaffrey. And Jay Hove had Jamar Chase. Weezy, give me a midseason prediction and why. I got to roll what I got on this one. I got to roll with A.J. Brown, man. Brown rolling. That ain't bad. Uh, he just right. broke, broke Calvin Johnson's record this year. Uh, he's second in the league in yards. I'm um, receiving yards, second in touchdowns right now. Uh, AJ Brown. Yeah, I like it. Jeff. All right, man. I got to go ahead and just be realistic with AJ Brown's not a bad pick. I'm going to go with Tyreek Hill, though. He's pacing for 2,000 still, even though, you know, when Miami plays a winning team, good team, it kind of looks a little different. But, you know, they won't play many more good teams this year, and he'll keep putting up those numbers. Yeah. 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 I'm rolling with Tyreek Hill as well. I want to get this right. So. If you lead the league in receiving yards, receiving yards per game, receiving touchdowns and yards after the catch, chances are you're going to get offensive player of the year. Simply put, especially what uh, Cooper Cup did a couple of years back. Yeah, so your team has to be winning too. And his team's going to be winning. His team's, I'm telling you, they're getting healthy at the right time. A-Chain's coming back. Jalen's back. Listen, this okay. team is, they haven't, we'll talk about that a little bit later, but yeah, they'll be fine. And he's a real MVP candidate. Give me Tyreek Hill. All right, moving on to the next question. Was Offensive Rookie of the Year, Jeff? Give me the preseason predictions. All righty. Weezy had Anthony Richardson. I had Jamar Gibbs. Coach Locke had B. John Robinson. And Jay had Jackson Smith and Jigba. Weezy, give me your midseason prediction and why. This is an easy one. <laughs> C.J. Stroud. Yeah, this one's over. C.J. <laughs> Stroud, <laughs> man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Richard's going to ball this year, though. Ball. He, got He's gonna, he got hurt, though. Yeah, he was going to ball. Oh, yeah, see, that shot definitely isn't this guy. Yeah, yeah. What you got, Jeff? Well, the Falcons are allergic to giving B. John Robinson the ball. Mm-hmm. The Lions just now started giving Jamar Gibbs the ball, and C.J. Stroud is playing like he's been in the league for five years. That's yeah, true. The pick is C.J. Stroud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, nah. this is a Cam Newton rookie run. Yeah. Just been balling, man. And he seems to get better every week. Poise, composure, arm talent, and decision-making processes, all at an elite level, which I said he should have been the number one pick in the entire draft. But Bryce Young – Rightfully so, had a great um, college. college career, and also he performed well uh, on his pro day. So nothing wrong with getting Bryce Young, but I think C.J. Stroud is a guy playing like a veteran, man. No, Mm-mm. he played. Alrighty. No, moving right along to the next question is defensive player of the year. Weezy, give me the preseason predictions. All right, I had Micah Parsons. Jeff had Miles Garrett. Like it, T.J. Watt and Jay had Micah Parsons. Jeff, give me your midseason prediction. Wow, I'm sticking to my gun on this one. Miles Garrett. Nine, nine and a half. Seven. Finally got one. Finally. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he's reeking. That defense is putting up historic numbers. He's the reason why. Yeah, he's definitely the reason yeah. why. Talk to me, Weezy. Um, I've seen it with my own eyes this year. <laughs> Miles Garrett is single handedly winning winning them football games. Mm. They ain't had they haven't had their starting quarterback in three or four weeks. And P.J. Walker's been their quarterback, yeah. and Miles Garrett is leading them in sacks. He's single-handedly winning on football games. Yeah. yeah. Another guy, and listen, you know Miles Garrett. I've been trying to get this right for years, me and Jeff. T.J. Watt is doing the exact same thing. This is going to be a knockdown drag out, Doc. True. The Pittsburgh Steelers have needed impact plays, but they typically don't come from an edge rusher like T.J. Watt. They have the worst offense in the entire NFL, guys. He's making a difference every game. Very similar to what Miles Garrett is doing. Him, Max Crosby, Miles Garrett. You can't go wrong with this, but he sets the edge, man. And I think it's going to end up who will have the most wins. And I want to. I'm going to roll with Miles Garrett, but I think T.J. White is going to be a knockdown drag out for both of them. Dig it. Right. Next uh, question is defensive rookie of the year. Weezy. Pre, uh, preseason predictions. Preseason predictions. I had Jalen Carter. Jeff had Will Anderson. Locke had Will Anderson also. Mm-hmm. And Jay had Will Anderson. Okay. Mm-hmm. Jeff, missing your prediction. Why? Ah, man, Weezy, you got it right, brother. It's Jalen Carter. Like, listen, 
the number 31 QB pressures, twice as many as any rookie defensive tackle. He putting up numbers, man. Yeah, he going crazy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Rich get richer. He, he he went to a team where they already had a great defensive line. They can't double team him. There's plenty of depth on that defensive line, and he just he's uh, he's one of those special rookies. He don't look like a rookie. No, nah, he don't. Overpowering, yeah. big. Shouldn't have fell that low in the draft anyway. We easy said that when he got drafted, it was a steal there. But I'm picking uh, Devin Witherspoon from the Seahawks. He can do it all: cover, blitz, support the run, physical, great ball skills. Accomplished all despite missing the opener because of an injury, but he could become a mixture of Rondé Barber, Troy Palomalu sooner than later. He's a guy, man. Devin Witherspoon, CLC Hawks. He's a what? player. Trying to trade him. <laughs> Trying to try to get him. Moving right along to the next awards, breakout player of the year. Jeff, give me the preseason predictions. Weezy had Kayvon Thibodeau. Jeff had myself. I had Justin Fields. Oh boy. Locke had Alexander Madison, and Jay had Chiggs of Conwood. Man, I believed in him, man. Yes, Lord. Uh, Can't catch we, one. Yeah, man, he open too, man. He, now he got a guy, though. He, he, he dropped a big one now. Dropping, he, dropping everyone, he dropping one a game. Yeah, damn, Chiggs. <laughs> Weezy, give me one. Give me who you got oh, for man. midseason. I had, I had Kayvon Thibodeau midseason. I'm going to roll back with Kayvon Thibodeau. Now, you had him at preseason. Who yeah, you got pre- midseason? Oh, yeah, I'm rolling yeah. right back with Kayvon Thibodeau. Okay. He's leading the team in sacks. Yeah, yeah. He's only like I think he's like fourth on the sack on the sack board right now. Yeah. yeah. He I think he's playing for a contract, of course. But yeah. everybody is. Yeah, he nasty though. Yeah, yeah. I will Kayvon Thibodeau. He is nasty. You got I, you. I like that Kayvon Thibodeau. Um the only reason to watch Giants football at this point. Uh but uh, prison of the moment, Josh Dobbs. J D. Prison of the moment. Yeah. Just the story alone. Just this week alone. No, no. No, nah, breakout keep, play. The fact that he's keeping. Now, nah, he had a good game. He had good games in, in Arizona. He kept the Cardinals afloat. They yeah. only won one yes. game, true enough, true yeah. indeed. But he kept them competitive. And to come in and win that game in Minnesota, and Minnesota's banking on him to keep them playoff competitive for the rest yeah. of the year. Give me Josh Dobbs. Yeah, I like that. I ain't mad at that. Real quick, does Josh Dobbs deserve a 30 for 30? No. Absolutely not. Um, I'm telling you, Mike. That, huh? they, that one, that one game. Was That's a thirty for thirty. That's short, then. Yeah, it's a yeah, short. Yeah, yeah. It's a the short. podcast. Yeah, it's a short. <laughs> um, my midseason prediction is Zaire Franklin from the Indianapolis Colts, a career special That's teamer great. guy who blossomed into a star as a middle linebacker in Gus, uh, Gus Bradley's defense over the past two seasons. He hasn't missed a game in his six year career. He's taking the spot of Darius Leonard. Do you know how hard that is? Yeah. It, he's played in 98% of the snaps this year compared to Leonard's 65%. So, yeah. he leads the NFL with tackles 102 already. He's a guy, man. He's Zaire good. Franklin with the Colts. He nasty. Yeah. Next award is Comeback Player of the Year. Weezy, give me the <laughs> preseason predictions. <laughs> Come. <laughs> I had Calvin Ridley. Yeah. Jeff had DeMar Hamlin. <laughs> Locke had DeMar Hamlin. Yep. And Jay had Cooper Cup. Did Jeff give me your midseason prediction? Not changing. The award will be named the Demar Hamlin Award Damn. at the end of this year, and he will win it, and they will rename the award. Like I said, Weezy. I, I'm rolling with Kevin. I'm standing right there with Kevin Ridley. <laughs> yeah, he's balling. Yeah, yeah, Kevin Ridley's balling. Yeah. Brandon, Only reason they might not give it to him because he broke the law. Yeah. To do it, but, but yeah, stats, stats. stats, 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 stats. Yes, yeah, stats, stats. stats. He lead, leading, that, leading, that, leading that team in receiving and catching. Stats, yeah. stats. Yeah, for sure. This is the thing about Demar Hamlin. He hasn't played a defensive snap all year. <laughs> <laughs> Not he one. Gotta play. He's yeah. got to play, dude. He's only been on special teams, running up and down. If it haven't been touched, give me Josh Dobbs. And he, I'm cool with Josh. Dobbs. Yeah, Josh give me, Dobbs, yeah, give me yeah. Josh Dobbs. Talk about waiting your time. Jeff mentioned it. Yeah. Played on four teams in ten months. Yeah. If you look, he was a week one starter for the Cardinals. Yeah. Bought there, had them competitive. competitive. Had them yeah. competitive. competitive. Then he goes to Minnesota and winning a game off strictly vibes, man. <laughs> you know, all vibes. All vibes. He's in there, all vibes. <laughs> he played himself into a bridge starter guy. Yeah. Like, um, what's my guy name? Uh, played at Florida, NC State, transferred to NC State. Jacoby Brissett. Mm. He is a 7 to $10 million a year guy. He goes in one spot and just just a bridge guy, and he's there to hold the fort down. It's pretty good money. You got to clap for Josh Dobbs. So. And here's yeah. the thing against DeMar Hamlin, and I, I, I yeah. don't – I don't. He, he died. He yeah, died. He, died. he, he yeah. came back. Here's the thing. The Bills lost their safety. Mm-hmm. <laughs> lost a corner. He lost a corner and a linebacker. And a linebacker. And he's still and he's not, still not, not dressed in the lineup. He's so, still not you dressed. Know, he's only dressed in one game, guys. And, and here's the thing. He's cleared to play. Yeah. <laughs> He's practicing every week. Yeah. Come on now. I, what I told you. He's I sorry. Never, I never argued was the kid going to be a great sorry. player. I just said 
the NFL is going to rename that. Say that then. Yeah. But you were saying. I've been saying the whole time. No, no, no. He said he's going to win the award. He's, he's not going to win the award. Yeah, he's going to win the award. They're going to win it. And you want to put that on the board? Yeah, put that on board. That shit's all, it's all Western. That's what, oh, that was all win for the song started. They're going to they gonna hand it to him and it's now renamed the DeMar Hamlin Award. That's what, that's what Goodell going to give him right then and there. Whatever, man. Move on to the next award. We have Coach in the High Seat. Jeff, give me the preseason prediction. Weezy had Brandon Staley. I had Ron Rivera. Coach Locke had Kevin Stefanski. Jay had Bill Belichick. Weezy. Mid-season prediction on why? I got to stick with my Brendan Staley. You you I, got <laughs> – he stopped going for them fourth down. But that team much, is – Yeah, but that team is way too – That team way too good yeah, not to be winning. To be yeah, you lose is, Mike Williams, though. Is that a big loss? It's a big loss. That's a big loss. Okay. Yeah. Austin Eckler was out the first three weeks. Yeah. It's a big loss. That's a big loss. But – King Allen's still balling. Still there. Your quarterback is playing through all kind of pain. All time shit. Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 you have a rookie uh wide receiver that's 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 balling. Yeah. Ah, nah, he he ain't Quinn Johnson. Quinn Johnson, boo boo. Yeah, he ain't been doing. He's the other kid has been, but Josh Palmer. Yeah, Josh Palmer been. Yeah, Josh Palmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But here, here's the thing, Brent Staley, his his record's horrible. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Hey, you changed off. You changed yeah. offense coordinators. Yeah. All that stuff. Oh, you cooking? Mm. And then and then, then offense coordinator he wants to leave. You cooking on, with grease? Come on, man. Yeah, it's, writing's on the wall. What you got, Jeff? Sticking with um. <laughs> Bill Belichick. <laughs> you I'm going Bill Belichick. going with Bill Belichick. Yeah, okay. going with Bill Belichick. Okay. At the end of the day, Tom Brady's Tom Brady. What you had with Tom Brady, like, 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 like I said, like my man said in the butter ring, like Birdie Mac said in the butter ring, they can't take what we worship. Nah, hell no. Nah. They can't take what Shout we worship. I did a great Tom Shepard. But at the end of the day, yeah. what have you done for me lately? Man, Jander Jackson. And Bill, they said if he loses the coach, he might get fired this week. Yeah, not for sure. Nah. They, they said they might fire him this they, week. They can't do that. They lose yeah. the coach, they might fire him. Yeah. I'm rolling with Bill Belichick as well. There with, get there with Bill. Oh, that happens. It happens to the best of us. What? Phil yeah, Jackson yeah. got fired. Yeah, yeah. About at the, in the middle of the season, Phil Jackson got fired. The Bulls didn't fire Bill J- Phil Jackson. No, he, they ran the him Lake, up out of there. Yeah, yeah. The Lakers, Lakers fired fire. his ass the second time. The Lakers fired his ass. The Knicks fired his ass. The Listen, Knicks fired. Him. All good things come to an end. And I'm true. rolling with Bill Belichick. Josh McDaniels got fired first. He didn't make it to the damn mid money point, so we got to <laughs> talk about him. <laughs> but but Mac Jones has regressed. The teams lack young talent, and the Patriots are. Headed to their first last place finish in the AFC East since 2000, guys. Since yeah. 2000. Patriots way just not what it used to be. Seven win year old Bill Belichick. It's time to go out, hang out with the kids. The just one. relax, man. So, But here's the thing. what Can, can we add coaches to this list? Who would you add to this list? Add this and ain't, on the hot seat? Yeah, right now. I mean, that was the, that's the whole point of the show. That's the exercise. You, you want to pick another person. It's like, pick another person other than Bill Belichick. Like, who who else would you add? I mean, Brandon Staley. You can get. He's already on the list. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm adding the coach from uh, uh, the Atlanta Falcons. And that's Arthur my Smith. guy, too. Arthur Smith gone. Yeah. yeah. He, you can pack it up. Yeah. I, oh, man, he be, I hope he leasing. Yeah. He better be selling right now he's in selling, Atlanta. He's, oh, he's, yeah. you, got, he, you got too many weapons. Yeah. You see what no. came out about him? They <laughs> He got mad that his dad. Well, somebody put on the thing that his dad's worth a billion dollars. He is. Yeah. yeah dad you know created that. Home Depot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you want, what do you want him to do? Shit, ain't nothing you can do about that. Yeah. I wish my dad home, owned Home Depot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga ain't gave me yeah, shit. He ain't leasing no. nothing. Up. You know what I'm saying? My oh bad. Oh my, my god. Bad. I'm just saying, yeah. move right along to the fall off player of the year, Weezy. Give me the preseason predictions. Oh, I had Dak Prescott. Mm hmm. Jeff had Brock Purdy Purdy. Mm hmm. Glock had Josh Jacobs. Damn. Jay had his own deep bow Sam. I did. Yeah. 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 Uh, Jeff, you already, yeah. <laughs> you Boy, it, it, go ahead. Hey, I came on this show and I said it's going to take, it's going to be a week. He going to have to win a game for you. He done had a couple of them weeks. Guess what, Kevin, man? They was, dude, they was comparing him to Joe Montana, dude. They was literally comparing dude to Joe Montana. I don't know about that. No, no seriously. <laughs> there were people on, there were people getting paid money on TV. Saying he looks like Joe Montana. I ain't heard that. I heard that. One. Oh, you can't yell on that shit. That was ridiculous. <laughs> so Brock Purdy. Brock like Purdy. Him. Okay, what you got, we? I'm going my own, my own tight end. I'm gonna go Chica Conco, man. Shit, man. He ain't fall. He ain't fall <laughs> up though. Yeah. He ain't fall off yet. I mean, this will be his breakout. This supposed to be a breakout year. It, it ain't. It ain't. He ain't broke out. No, nah, nah, he, he didn't year. have a good year last he year. Hard, you gotta cheat. have a. He had a good year last year. Yeah. Why don't you say Dak? Why don't you roll with Dak? Dak ain't had a bad year. Dak not having a bad year. That, that's so y'all said Dak ain't even. Nah, Dak is balling. Yeah, yeah, Dak ain't having a bad Dak year. Dak is balling. He doing what he's supposed to do. Yeah. 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 Uh, my pick, 
So why'd you tell me to pick that? I'm just saying pick somebody other than uh, Chiggs or Congo. That's a bad pick. But anyway, my pick is Kyle Pitts, man. Damn. And he's been target <laughs> dude. And it's all Arthur Smith's fault because this yeah. kid is open. He's been targeted more than five times just twice in nine weeks, guys. Feed, it's Kyle Pitts. And they feed John Smith. Because he was that's his that's his guy from the Titans. Yeah. Like, come on, man. I don't really understand that one for real. They feed John Smith. Dude, at the tight end <laughs> position, he's ranked twenty second in the red zone, man. That's tough, man. And it's not changing until Arthur Smith gets the hell out of there. So free Cal Pitts, free B. John Robinson, free Drake London, man, free the homies, free all those yeah, guys. Buy Arthur Smith cool. and bring him back to the Titans off OC. Yeah, and then right. they, they could have had, they could have had Lamar Jackson. Yeah, they could have had LJ. Could have had Lamar Jackson. And then your little rag ass quarterback Desmond Ritter, he's trash. Shout out to Desmond Real. He gonna, he gonna take him to the NFC Championship this year in the Mad League. Moving right along but, to co- you wanna put that on the board? Nah, Mad League. You damn about that Mad League? No, it ain't. Put it on the board. I said, but yeah, don't put that on the board. Yeah, that's no, don't put it on the board. In the NFC. In the NFC. I said NFC. Yeah. NFC. NFC Championship bound. Shot the man league. Manly. Manly. God. <laughs> coach of the year, Weezy. Now, nah, you know what, Jeff, give me the preseason <laughs> predictions for coach of the year. Weezy had Mike McDaniel. I had, oh boy, I was I was really all in Me the too, Bears. me too, bro. I was in on the Bears. Yeah. I had Mike Everett. Yeah, my boy got hurt. He was straight. Yeah. Coach like had Robert Soleil. Mm. And Jay had Mike McCarthy. Yeah. Ooh. Weezy. Well, that's not that bad. What's your pick? I don't know what I got. Mike McDaniel. Mike yeah. McDaniel. Yeah. Well, yeah, I picked a good pick. had a good preseason. Yeah, you gotta talk to the mic. You're not talking to him. He can hear you. Watch well, it. You oh. see what I'm saying? So that's why the mic should be in front of you. Well, that's when you talk. <laughs> but now nah, Matt McDaniel, man, he's still anytime. Anytime you can have you. He, he first of all, his quarterback's healthy this year. Yep. His he has another. He, he's gonna have a two thousand yard receiver. Yep. Um, and his team, but he got his team has to win big games. Mm-hmm. His team has to win big games. True. Yep. Uh, he can't do two things at one time. Jeff, what you got? Man? I had Dan Campbell. Well, I, in my preseason, I had Mike Epperfus. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, shout out to the Bears. And uh, I'm going Dan Campbell. Yeah. Man. This is, that's the Lions, bro. I could go into all the stats and how they yeah. look. And, 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 that's the I Lions. That. Yeah. Look, winning a division and look like one of the best teams in the NFC. I'm rolling. That's, yeah. that's crazy. I got Dan Campbell as well. Eight and two finishing up the season last year after a one and six start, then you keep that momentum going, going six and two in the first eight. It's a tough out now. And you haven't been able to say Detroit's a tough out in 20 years. So it's been seven years since the Lions even made the postseason, 30 since they won a division title. I think both of those things change. Likely going to win the NFC North by early December and host a playoff game at the crib. So seriously, Detroit, he made those guys a winner, man, and I believe them. Shout out to Mike McCarthy. And I excuse me. I love Mike McCarthy and I love what he's doing. But Dan Campbell is the guy for coach of the year this year. Yeah. Moving right along to NFL MVP. Jeff, give me the preseason predictions. Weezy, myself, and Coach Locke had Lamar Jackson. <laughs> Jay had Dak Prescott. I did. I did. Weezy, give me your mid season prediction and why. <laughs> Lamar Jackson, man. Hell freaky. <laughs> <laughs> Lamar Jackson. Not only is he throwing the football with all kind of crazy accuracy right now, but he's not running the football. Hey, why do you? Why are you, every time you hey, bring hey, up hey, Lamar hey. Jackson, you always try, first thing you bring up. I can't believe he's throwing with accuracy. I, 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 never, said, always, I never said I can't you believe. Said, you said, said he's said I can't throwing believe. with accuracy like don't. it's something that never happened. He's always throwing don't, accuracy. He actually don't has me, Don't turn me against Lamar Zay. Jackson. He has OBJ. Don't turn me against Lamar really Jackson. Really good run, you dude. I'm you've a never big banged with you. Damn lie! That's a damn lie. You've never been a big fan. Don't lie. Don't turn me against Lamar Jackson. Add his cap. That is Cap. Yeah, Lamar Jackson's a good, great quarterback, man. <laughs> great quarterback. Hmm. I asked you before, would you tag him in Tennessee? You said no. So, Nah, yeah. we're rolling. I ain't need his ass then. I ain't need his ass. <laughs> I'm, tag him now, though. I'm sticking with Lamar Jackson as well. Um, just being second one. He's having a great year. Um, got paid, bounced back, healthy, got weapons. R- Ravens rolling. Yep. Uh, my pick is Tyreek Hill, guys. For the last 10 seasons, a quarterback has won the league's most valuable player award. That. <laughs> that, that, listen, that should change in 2023. Adrian Peterson was the last non quarterback to win MVP in 2012, guys. Why did AP win the quarterback dominant award of the NFL? It's because he had a record breaking performance. And I think Tyreek Hill will do that. I think he'll join the 2000 yard club by himself 
sitting solo with that. He's going to break uh, Calvin Johnson's 1964 record. So, yeah. Uh, he deserves the award if he makes a huge record-breaking performance happen for the year. And I think Tyreek Hill do that. So, give me Tyreek Hill. Word. <laughs> Word is funny. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to the teams, man. The NFC East, the Eagles won last year. Preseason predictions, Jeff. Uh, Weezy had the Giants. I had the Eagles. Coach Locke had the Cowboys. Jay had the Cowboys. <laughs> Jeff, right back to you. Mid-season prediction of what? Give me the Eagles. Rolling. Yeah. Okay. Weezy? Eagles, man. Touch push. Okay. Um, I'm rolling with Dallas. Yeah. Philly is barely winning games they're supposed to win. Have a gauntlet ahead of them with the Chiefs, Bills, 49ers, Cowboys, and Seahawks all left on the season. So, but give me Dallas. Those three those three games you named was not those, – those Chiefs, Bills, 49ers are not division games. They're going to win this division. Damn, I'm telling you. No, but what I'm saying is Dallas is going to win out. Yeah, Dallas got, that, that was got a nice, easy roll right yeah, now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yep. Moving on to the north, Wheezy. Uh, the Vikings won last year. Give me the preseason predictions. I had the Packers. Jeff had the Bears. Locke had the Vikings. And Jay had his Lions. Jeff, talk to the people. I'm so high on the Bears. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm off that narcotic, I'm going with the Lions. <laughs> Everything we said about Dan Campbell. Yep. Yeah. I'm, I'm rolling with the Vikings. Okay. I'm rolling with the Vikings. I like the Vikings' uh, defense. I like the Vikings' coach. Yeah. Uh, Your old quarterback, Josh Dobbs. Yeah, well, Josh Dobbs. That's the only thing. But I'm rolling with the Vikings. Okay. I'm rolling with the Lions. It's the perfect mix of veterans and young guys. Lions have flaws, clear flaws. Mm -hmm. But they should win their first division title since 93. Give me the Lions. Moving on to the NFC South. Wheezy. Buccaneers won last year. Give me the preseason predictions. I had the Falcons. Jeff had the Falcons. So Locke had the Saints. And you had the Saints. Jeff. Sticking with the Falcons. And mm. what? Sticking with the Falcons. To do what? They won, game, they won game out right now. Mm -mm. Yeah, that, that division is a crapshoot. That division is a crapshoot, crap dude. Yeah. <laughs> like, the Saints have not run away with this. They have one game out. Weezy. I got to roll with the Saints. Saints have the best quarterback in, in the division, unfortunately. Um, it ain't hard to be. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't hard to be. And I, I like their, their percentage winning at home. That their, their home field is, it means more to their division. So I'm rolling with the Saints. Yeah, I'm rolling with the Saints as well. I think New Orleans defense gives them an advantage in the entire division. And the Falcons, man, they just don't have enough offense. So, give me the Saints. Moving on to the NFC West, the 49ers won last year. Jeff, give me the preseason predictions. Weezy, myself, Coach Locke, and you, Jay, <laughs> had the 49ers. <laughs> Jeff, what you thinking? Mid-season. Ah, although Seattle looks good. Mm -hmm. Although Seattle looks good. I believe the 49ers are just way too talented across the board. Yeah, the, the 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 Chase Young whole scandal thing got me. Yeah. I don't know how they got Chase Young and, and the league the late the league let him do it. <laughs> that I, that got me. That I mean, you can't you can't double team nobody on the line of scrimmage. They got the see. I'm roll with I'm roll with the 49ers. Yep, yeah, I'm rolling with the 49ers as well. We're using the week nine by week uh, by week to kind of get healthy and acclimate Chase Young into this already loaded defense. I anticipate they'll start looking more like they're diamond themselves again, getting everybody back, being healthy with mm -hmm. Devo, Trent Williams, all the uh, necessary evils will be back. Brock Purdy will be balling. We'll be back, man. No worries. 49ers, landslide. Moving on to the East, <laughs> the AFC East at that. Buffalo Bills won last year. Jeff, give me the preseason prediction. Weezy had the Buffalo Bills. I had the Miami Dolphins. Coach Locke had the Buffalo Bills. And Jay Hove had the Miami Dolphins. Weezy, midseason prediction of what? I'm gonna roll back with Miami on this one. Okay. Uh, Miami home field advantage. Late in the season, coming to Miami is gonna be rough. Buffalo just lost too much. They, 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 the injury bug got them, and <laughs> the quarterback is he's throwing interceptions right now. You don't say. <laughs> he's throwing a couple of picks right now. So you don't, you don't say. Jeff, what you got? Oof, boy. Jeez Louise. I had the Dolphins in the preseason, got the Dolphins still. Most talent, more talented across the board. Healthy. Their, their GM knows how to build a team. Healthy. Oh, Jeff, it's just injuries, Jeff. Don't do that. No, 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 no. We don't. We don't. We didn't. Oh, we y'all just go. injured, dog. I had, them, I had the Dolphins in the preseason. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying Matt Milano is hurt. Trey White is hurt. I told y'all to get rid of him anyway. We didn't address uh, We didn't address getting the second with, second wide receiver. We didn't address that. And we didn't Gabe address Davis is fine. You got, and you you got tight that? end. You, you got a tight that? end. We drafted Dr. Kincaid. We needed a wide receiver. And Lord knows, Lord knows we need a running back. And we still don't have a running back. We need a running back for three years. That didn't need a running back. Mm -hmm. hey, we have not how, got a running back. How long for Stephon Diggs asked for a trade? 
I'm gonna be real. If we don't make the playoffs this year, this year he's asking for it this offseason. Yeah. Cause we're right. we're not in the playoffs right now. Yeah. yeah. My pick was the Dolphins. I'm rolling. And he Each team in this he does. Each team <laughs> in this division is flawed in its own way. But down the stretch, I think the Dolphins got to answer the questions about getting bullied by heavyweights. And I think that will be answered because they get A Chain back, they get Jalen back. It's a difference. And that offense with Mike McDaniels explosive uh, play calling would be the difference. Give me the Dolphins. Moving on to the AFC North. The Bengals won last year. We used to give me the preseason predictions. Oh, man. I had the Steelers. Jeff had the Ravens. Locke had the Ravens. You had the Ravens. Sure. Ravens, Ravens, Ravens. Weezy, give me your <laughs> midseason prediction. I want to pick the Ravens real bad, but the Bengals coming. Yeah, they are. The Bengals coming. <laughs> Joe Burrow's healthy. Joe Burrow. Both of their wide receivers hurt, though. Joe Burrow's healthy. But you can't. Who are you gonna throw to? Tyler Boyd. Uh, Joe, uh, hold on. You remember one time you said they had the best receiving court in the league? They do. They had, the, but you can't lose two of their starters. <laughs> I'm just saying, Joe Burrow's healthy. What you got it, Jeff. I'm sticking with Baltimore. Weezy's right. Joe Burrow and the Bengals are getting themselves together, uh, but I'm gonna roll with the Ravens right now. I'm gonna stick with my Ravens as well. Prime form right now. Sub C any AFC North team overtaking them. Baltimore's defense clamping down opponents to a. NFL low, 124 points, 13 points per game, nine contests. You want to talk about making a trade? Them getting Roquan Smith, huge trade. Mm. Great for that team. Changed the entire complexity of that defense. Moving on to the AFC South. The Jaguars won last year. Weezy, give me the preseason predictions. And what? <laughs> he did it on purpose, didn't he? I'm just saying. Yeah, I know it worked did. out that way. <laughs> I had the Titans. Yeah, you did. All three of y'all have the Jags. I ain't even saying your name. Okay. All three of y'all have the Jags. All right. Uh, Weezy, you rolling with your prediction? Yeah. Yeah. Stand on Damn big. Yeah, we got a new, a new regime in Tennessee right now. New quarterback. Yeah, Levis. No, we don't. Okay. <laughs> All right. You got to win the rest of the division. Game. We got to win out. No, we don't. Okay. Jeff? I got the Jags, man. Sure. Give me Trevor Lawrence, Travis Etienne, and that defense. Yeah. Jaguars offense has been held back by costly mistakes. I think they make a change coming off of bye week in week nine. Um, to kind of figure out that final seven game stretch, figuring things out. But it won't be against the San Francisco 49ers, but give me the Jags. And last but not least, the AFC West, the Chiefs won last year. Jeff, give me the preseason prediction. Weezy had the Chiefs. I had the Chargers. Coach Locke and J-Ho both had the Chiefs. And give me your midseason prediction. Oh, come on, man. Mm. It's, it's Patrick Patty. Holmes. <laughs> give me the Chiefs. Right. Weezy. Chiefs. Yeah, in the defense, not, let me not disrespect that defense. Yeah, defense, defense is wrong. Defense is wrong. They got young boys in the yeah. secondary too, man. They drafted really well. Um, Chiefs won AFC West what last seven seasons. Yeah, I just don't think that anybody is within three or four games <laughs> in that division, man. So, uh, yeah, give me the Chiefs, man. It's That's tough. Crazy. That's nuts, man. And numero not well the last of the Mohicans. The last question, the creme de la creme, the Super Bowl right. matchup. Eagles versus Chiefs last year. Um, Jeff, give me the preseason predictions. Weezy had Niners versus Chiefs. I had Niners versus Ravens. Locke and J Ho had. Oh, I'm sorry. Locke had Niners versus Bills, and J Ho had Cowboys versus Bills. I did I did I yeah. did? Jeff, you want to make your preseason? I mean, your prediction for the midseason? Sure. I have Eagles versus Ravens. Mm. Oh. Wow. Gave up on us? No, I just think. Eagles healthy. That means you gave up on. They have a hear, hear me out. They have their talent wise, y'all are pretty evenly matched. They have a they have one thing better than you all have. What's that? Quarterback. Man, you damn lie. <laughs> He's not better than that. <laughs> oh, what, what? Oh. <laughs> have you looked at the numbers? You're saying, you're saying I said that from day one. Hey man. He, that's, your bro, that's your quarterback. That's your quarterback. That's it ain't quarterback. got nothing to do with the yeah, quarterback. He has he has 14 touchdowns and eight picks. He's second in the league in interceptions. I don't think he's a good quarterback. I think he's a running back playing quarterback. He hurt this year, though, for sure. He's hurt. He's limping out there. He's hurt. Come on. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go Eagles. I'm going to go Eagles versus Chiefs. Real, Real quick. Repeat. If you just look at the numbers, I don't sound crazy at all. Because Brock Purdy ain't got no eight picks. I'll tell you that. But anyway, and before that, then when our team gets injured, Brock Purdy had one interception before your left tackle hadn't played. He had one interception and ten touchdowns. Who's your who, who, who's your pick? <laughs> and then the dude had nine touchdowns, eight who's picks. Your, who's your pick? Hulk? I got it. <laughs> uh, 49ers versus Ravens. Super Bowl. 
Fuck you, Tom. It'd be a great Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, it would be a great. I had them in the preseason. It'd be a great Super Bowl. And that is, that is. NFL midseason for 2023. See how these pick went. They ain't look as good as our preseason predictions, but we'll see. My preseason predictions look pretty good. Little cap. You pick the Tennessee Titans and win the whole division. You know they ain't have a quarterback. Well, my other picks look pretty good. Yeah. All right. Let's roll, man. Yeah. Now, tweet some questions throughout the week at Full Sport Press. Don't forget to comment and give us a thumbs up on the YouTube page, on the iTunes page. Please rate and subscribe, but more importantly, don't forget to tell a friend. To tell a friend. To tell a friend. Weezy. Everything paid for, big baby. Jeff. Camera's always on, brother. Cameraman, the revolution will be podcasting Brock Purdy in one game. Thank you for listening to the Full Sport Press podcast. To catch up on previous episodes, please check out the YouTube page and wherever you find your favorite podcast. Don't forget, tell a friend to tell a friend. The revolution will be podcasted.